Another thing that I wanna say on adding more products is something that is really important if you are in an online service-based business is that you think about adding passive and residual products to your business. Hi everyone, and welcome back to The Business Bar, the only place where we serve you delicious beverages as well as delicious business and life advice. In today's episode, what I wanted to do was actually talk through how to make $100,000 online because I think a lot of people are starting their businesses and they're setting the goal of, I wanna reach six figures, except that the only thing is not a lot of people are actually taking the time to figure out exactly how to do that. And I mean, even though obviously there are so many variabilities when it comes to making money in your business online, if you actually have a strategy and are properly evaluating, you can actually make it simpler for yourself to reach six figures online. And specifically, I'm talking about $100,000. I'm gonna be pairing this particular talk because it's all about money. And for me, money is nothing but freedom. You know, what I do with my money is traveling and just anything that gives me that freedom of life. So I've actually paired this with a pina colada. I know that this drink just reminds me and probably for so many of you of holidays and just relaxing by the beach. And to me, that's like the ultimate way to spend your money. So that's what we're going to be making today. If you liked the episode, I would very much appreciate it if you gave it a big thumbs up. And of course, if you are new around here, become a regular by subscribing to the channel and turning on those notifications. So, pina colada. By the way, yes, I'm like totally dressed for this drink. I am wearing flowers in my hair, I'm wearing a little bit of a sundress, even though it's like six degrees here in Melbourne, but I wanted to get in the mood for this. So a pina colada is made pretty much with some white rum. It's made with pineapple, pineapple juice, a little bit of coconut cream, a little bit of sugar just for that naughtiness, and then we blend it up with some ice. Super, super simple. So what I'm actually going to do, I already pre-chopped my pineapple. I've got about six or seven or so pieces here. I am going to just chuck those into the bottom of this blender. Now, the first thing is when it comes to making six figures online, let's just work with the figure of $100,000 because I think that makes it a lot simpler. Now you might have goals that are beyond that, but let's just use $100,000 for now. The first thing that you need to do if $100,000 is your goal in your business is figure out a, exactly how much that means that you need to be making a month, and B, how much you need to be selling of what to make that specific figure a month. To make $100,000 in, let's say, one year is roughly around, it's around $8,300, but let's say $8,500 just for simplicity's sake. You have to ascertain whether or not your business is actually set up in a way that is going to allow you to physically make that amount of money. Now, what I mean by this is, say, for example, you are doing one-on-one -on -one coaching and you have $800 packages. It's highly unlikely that you are going to be able to work with enough people, like that's 10, that's 12, 11 or so people that you would have to be signing on every single month. And you know, if that was a three month package, that would multiply. So that means that your business isn't necessarily set up to be making that kind of money. So what you wanna do is actually take that $8,500 figure and you wanna figure out with all the different products or services that you have in your business, specifically how many of those you need to be selling. So say for example, you had a $3,000 coaching package, it would be roughly around three of those that you would be wanting to sign every single month. If if you had a course that you were selling and the course was $1,000, you know that you would try to sell at least nine of those every single month. So what you actually wanna do is go back to the drawing board in your business. You wanna look at the products that you have. You wanna calculate how many of those products you need to sell to reach that mark each month. And you need to ascertain whether or not it's even physically possible for you to be able to work that much to make that much money. Is your business scalable? Are the products and services that you're selling able to be multiplied each and every single month without you doing additional work. Take that number, $8,500, look at what you have available in your business and ask yourself exactly how do I need to make this money? What do I need to sell to make that money? Let's get back to the cocktail. So we have our pineapple in here and then we are going to be using a nice white rum for this today. A lot of you could use Bacardi, I know that's really popular, but I have chosen to go for Mount Gay because this is my absolute favorite rum and we're just going to use around 50 mils of the rum.
Then we're going to put just around a tablespoon of coconut cream. Now make sure you do get coconut cream because it really does help with the thickness of this cocktail instead of coconut milk, the ones that come in the jar. You want it to kind of be all gooey like that. Then we are just going to top it with a little bit of pineapple juice. Oh my gosh, this already smells incredible. I mean, pineapple juice is not the best thing for you. It's full of sugar, but it's a cocktail, so we'll go with it. And then we just want to use just roughly a teaspoon of sugar, as I said, for that naughtiness. I am using that via because I don't have any sugar in my house. Um, so you can use whatever you like for sweetness. So once you've actually figured out specifically what you need to be selling in your business, if you are not at a point where your business is set up, then it's maybe time to think about adding additional products or services. If you are going to be making six figures, seven figures, or multiple seven figures in your business, it's really important that you have multiple sources of income. You know, if you are currently just offering hourly rates for one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can think about adding other things. Could you possibly add a membership site or a course or a book or an ebook or workshops? There are so many different things that you can add to your business and I do have a video where I talk about the different things that you can sell, which I'll leave linked in the description. But have a look, is there any other way that you can package your services or any other additional products that you can add that will allow you to be making that money, that, that $8,500 goal? You know, there's only so much work you can do and if your business isn't set up in a way that is realistic for you to actually make that money, then it's not gonna happen. So really take a look at your business from a bird's eye view and the way that I actually do this is I just get a big whiteboard and I just draw out on a whiteboard all the products that I have and all the prices of those products and then base that on my profit goal and just look from a bird's eye view you know what else can I add how what other gaps are there in my business can I add a lower price product and try to market it to the masses or can I even potentially add a higher price product and be selling that as an on sale from some of my one-on-one -on -one clients or my you know students and things so have Having a look at where the gaps are in your business. Think of it like a scale from your cheaper entry level products right up to your premium products. And then have a look at what other products you can be adding. And you should roughly around, you know, get to the point of even having like six or so offerings, product services in your business is a really good place to be. All right guys, now it's time for the fun part of making this cocktail. Although the base of this blender is all the way over there, so you're not gonna get to see it. But I'm gonna come back with something delicious. Oh my gosh, ah, this smells like a literal holiday. Another thing that I wanna say on adding more products is something that is really important if you are in an online service-based business is that you think about adding passive and residual products to your business. Now, the difference between the two is passive products are something like an ebook or a course, something that you create once and that can be unsold. Whereas residual income is something more like a membership program or a subscription service. Think Netflix, think Spotify, where the income is consistent. And that's a really good thing to do in your business because then you can actually plan for profit. You know how much money is going to be coming into your bank each month based on how many members or subscribers that you have. So look at your business model and think, you know, where can I add additional products? And additionally, where can I add sources of passive or residual income? as opposed to always just having active income, which is where you yourself are working for those dollars, which is more like one-on-one -on -one coaching or group coaching or freelance services or consulting. So look at your business from a bird's eye view, have a look where the gaps are, and then really think about adding, you know, passive and residual income because that will much easier help you to achieve that six-figure income goal. I honestly don't know one entrepreneur who has a six or multiple six-figure business that doesn't have some type of passive income. And just as an example, for my Game Changer Collective course, which will be turning into a membership program, the, the money that came in from the payment plans of that was about $5,000 every single month. And that was just coming into my bank account without me even thinking about it. And then obviously me out there actively only had to make, you know, a couple of extra grand if I wanted to reach that $8,000 goal. So that is a really, really good way to look at your business from a strategic way to get to the six-figure goal. But I think it's really important that we pour out this peanut. <laughs>
I think it's really important that we pour out this pina colada right now because I really wanna try it. It looks delicious. Oh, I've got some leakage. And the last thing that I do wanna say, and of course it's me, so I have to add something mindset onto here. Money is just money, guys. You know, at the end of the day, $100,000, a million dollars, those are just numbers and just like followers, the amount of followers that you have, it really doesn't mean anything. You've got to think beyond the actual digits themselves. So my suggestion to you is, you know, doing all this strategic work is great, but if you really want to start manifesting or making $100,000 in your business, figure out specifically why you want to make that. I'm not going to ramble on about this because I talk about finding your why all the time. But at the end of the day, if you don't know what that money's for, it's really hard to inspire yourself to consistently go out there and find the strategies that you need to actually make that money. You know, one thing that I'd like to say to just take a step back, you've got to actually take the initiative to figure out specifically what you need to do to be selling those products. You know, if you are selling a course, selling a membership site, figure out what works through evaluation, time and test and then repeat that process. That's how you scale a business. But going back to the why, it's really important that you specifically know what are you gonna do with that money? You know, How do you wanna grow your business? What do you want your life to look like? Maybe you wanna to donate to charities, do some philanthropy work. Maybe you want to give it to your family. There's so many reasons why, but when you specifically know those details and you lay them out on a vision board or a set of goals, then it's so much easier to actually be consistent with the work that you need to make to make that $100,000. So really figure out what your why is, then do the strategic work, because I promise you, when you're actually doing that strategic stuff, it'll feel much, so much more exciting when you've got this really crystal clear vision of what the money is actually for, rather than just the significance of saying I have a six figure business, because that really doesn't mean anything at the end of the day. All right, my favorite time is of course the garnish. I have another beautiful little piece of pineapple here, which I am going to put on there with a nice little maraschino cherry and of course a straw, always glass. Hashtag environment. So that is it from me. That is all I have for you today. I hope that you are walking away drunk on knowledge and empowered to take action on your dreams. If you have any other ideas for how to make $100,000, or if you'd like to discuss this topic further, then please do reach out to me on social media. I also have a brand new training, a free training masterclass that you can sign up for, which I will leave the link in the description below. It's all about how to find the best niche for you and your business. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I really appreciate your time, and I will see you in the next episode. Cheers.